How's it going everybody? My name is Dan and this is DTM Design. Welcome to another build video. So today we are doing a Warhammer 40k diorama. We're building an orc war boss. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get right into it and not waste any time. Alright guys, back in the day I used to play Warhammer 40k a lot. I would go to Games Workshop on the weekends in middle school and sit there and build and paint when you were able to at the time. And you know, it was always cool to see the kit bash models and the little like custom stuff people are doing and as a child I could only do a little bit of that kind of stuff I wasn't super uh, you know well crafted yet at things but you know it was always very interesting and so I got this 3d file off of the internet of this orc war boss and I thought it'd be a fun build for today now he messed up when he was printing um, but I took that as an opportunity to make the model a little bit more unique and you know do that thing I liked back in the day as a middle schooler so I went ahead and just modified him. He was missing a leg, and there's some other parts I'm going to have to touch up later, but we made him a peg leg. A little bit different, a little bit unique, very orc-esque, I would say. And this whole build is going to be a McDonald's kind of theme thing. So right now I'm kind of putting together this cannon that he'll be holding, which will have a long tube back to a cart. And it's kind of like a grease melted cheese gun that he's going to be holding, I guess, or wielding. And you know, I thought it'd be pretty funny to do something like that. And here's some bits of the car. I'm kind of working on an under chassis here. And those wheels are taken from a tank and a plane model. As you can see, we got the gun kind of gripped up in his hand. And we've worked on a lower chassis here with some leaf spring kind of stuff to add some detail to the car. You know, make it make, you know, make a little sense in functionality, I guess. And then kind of starting on the foundation here. And I'm having a lot of fun so far. I hope you guys are too. Don't forget to hit subscribe or like comment what you want to see me build. I also have another Warhammer 40k build in my playlist of build videos, so go check that out if you're into Warhammer 40k at all, or just a cool build video. So let's get back into this. Uh, so getting ahead here, uh, I'm starting just working on the foundation. I got the cube set up here. Uh, it's the main box. Now it was a little taller than I wanted to, and I go back later and shorten that down. Um, but here I start to work on kind of like this internal square. Uh, because I'm going to have cheese coming over the top of this thing, so I don't want to have to fill up, obviously, the whole cube with the putty green that we'll be using later, or the green stuff. Um, so I kind of shallow that up, because you're not going to see it in the end anyways. As you can see, it kind of will sit in there, a little flush, and I'll be able to build up the green stuff without using too many. And you can kind of see the progression of the cart here. And using some, you know, texturized plastic that you can buy, I add a little detail, um, a little, you know, Differential, differentiating like the different plastics and just breaking up the model and you know making it seem built from various materials as uh, an orc would. Now I didn't really draw anything down for this build I kind of was just winging it and had a rough idea in my head so as you can see I'm playing with things here and trying to figure out what I want to do. Um, adding some spikes and little details to help make it look you know built again and then orc themed at the same time adding little rivets and you know this stuff here using wood um, so it's not all plastic and not all metal based stuff um, and here I have this long solid piece of plastic tubing and I kind of hand bent it to get it to where I want to sit where it'll attach the back of this orcs gun um, creating the whole combination of this build pretty much um, so yeah, I kind of had to fiddle with it a little bit, used a little bit of heat, um, but it eventually got there and it's pretty forgiving, uh, being solid. To get it straight again though is probably not going to happen, but you know, if you want to work with it and bend it to a certain way you want to, this is a good way to go. And this is kind of the rough layout, we're getting there. Alright guys, so now I'm taking this rubber heat shrink that you use for wires and I'm going to wrap it around the plastic tube that we have for the gun to the ammo box, I guess you'd call it. Um, this way I can add some like wrinkles and stuff like that and this kind of gives a rubbery or a cloth texture to the tube instead of just being solid plastic. Just adding more detail and a better look. Now as a middle schooler, something like that would have, I never would have thought of something like that and just knowing about the material in general I probably want to know about. So this is where being older, you can kind of kit bash and, you know, step it up a little bit from when you're a kid and make those kind of dreams of reality of models you may have wanted. Um, now I've gotten a little ahead of myself here, but there's some extra details added onto the cart that I missed filming. And I'm adding these little hooks here because there's going to be chains and pretty much the Grot is in control of this war boss. So he is technically the war boss if you want to think about it that way. And now using this green stuff, it's an epoxy, you kind of mix it together. I fixed his jaw up and added these straps and this plate 
and that's where the chains will connect for the Grot to be controlling him. Um, so yeah, kind of moving along here, and then I'm going to be also using this green stuff to create the overflow of grease or cheese uh, out of the Happy Meal box trailer cart. And yeah, so I'm kind of, I'm not the best sculptor, but I kind of worked my way around, and I figured drips aren't the hardest thing to do, and this is kind of the result we got. It's a little rough, but I did go back and smooth it up, um, you know, just getting it wet and using the sculpting tool to get rid of all my fingerprints and whatnot. Now, I did go around and weather the model using like a blowtorch, heating up metal, putting in dents, scratching with the X-Acto blade, roughing it up so it's not perfect, not clean edged, and you know, we get that real wear and tear that would happen in a real world setting. Now, I'm just wondering guys, which army would you be playing in Warhammer 40k if you played? And if you don't play, maybe go check it out and let me know in the comments below which one you'd be interested in. So here we have the model. We kind of have it fully laid out here and we throw some primer down on it to give it all one tone, one color, and really just make it look like a plastic kit that we just put together at this point. Uh, and then I went ahead and started working on the base that we're going to need for this model. Now using this lid to kind of make the curve and circles. I don't do a lot of circle bases, uh, it's always a lot of square stuff, so I figured I'd change it up and you know, do a circle one this time, or an ovalish square, I don't know what you want to call that, but maybe there's a technical term someone knows out there, let me know. Using my jigsaw, I just cut these out real quick in my apartment. Uh, probably not the cleanest thing to do in your apartment, but you know, pull out the vacuum and take care of that real quick, not a big problem. I hope you enjoyed that quick vacuum ASMR. Here are the two base plates. I'm gonna glue this together to make it a thicker base, obviously. And then I did throw some white primer over these just real quick, because I was gonna kind of do a wash style painting. So I threw some brown on the tube back there and started laying down the main red color. And you know, some washes and stuff here, adding the yellow. Just going on, starting the base paints of all this stuff, doing a little bit of dry brushing on the tube. Uh, to give some more textures. You can see I'm going through a bunch of paint. You can see the progress of the cart in the back there. Getting real McDonald's themed. Now moving on to the orc. I kind of wanted to give him a different skin tone. Not like a kind of brownish almost. Uh, I eventually ended up kind of changing that as I went along. Um, trying some different painting techniques I've never really done. Which is like considering blending and uh, all that. Kind of went back to a dry brush, a little mixture of everything. Wouldn't say it was a proper technique, but I got a decent skin tone that I was happy with, so I didn't want to wait, make, you know, put too much time into it. Um, and yeah, so we just moved along here, painting everything. It's quite a lot of fun. Really brought me back to the days of sitting games workshop painting models. And now we have the base. So I'm kind of tracing where the model sits so I can add some sand and texture. Uh, and adding some rubble to the base and just nowhere to place it where it won't get in the way of the model uh, once we finally glue that down. Now this process right here may look a little crazy because I'm just like dumping super glue down on that thing but that bottle was clogged up at the top so it's kind of what it's used for and I use a sacrificial brush to spread it all around and it was a lot quicker than the wood glue. Um, I lay down a quick black paint over all the stuff we did to the base and we just kind of do a whole dry brushing session and then I made an earth tone which on my Instagram people voted for over the gray slate so if you want to see more frequent updates definitely go follow me on Instagram and here we go putting together the model that is finally painted all up and we're doing the last little bit of you know adjustments to make sure it sits down right adding the glue to the base and guys I think we're done with this video and this build it's been a lot of fun here's the great detail shots see you next time So that was today's build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun putting this together. It was kind of a little idea I had and a little trip down nostalgia lane as I played Warhammer 40k back in middle school and spent many days at Games Workshop. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, comment, or even subscribe. I'd highly appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.